Let's show you what a typical result looks like uh, early post-op with the deep neck lift. So this patient is uh, four days out from his neck lift procedure. He had a single incision underneath his chin. You can see now his uh, jawline is sculpted. The skin has just kind of sucked back into the neck and we'll show you what the side angle, what that looks like. But I was able to partially remove these digastric muscles. I was able to remove most of the submandibular glands and then I was able to remove some of the deeper fatty tissue and then just put his platysma muscle back together in the midline. This is all through that single incision here. This is a side angle view with the patients looking down and you can see the dramatic result now. So all this fullness that he had in the neck is completely gone by addressing the deep structures in the neck. And so now he still has some swelling. You can see a little bit of bruising, but now you can start to see that jawline definition. And this will get better with time as the swelling goes down. Look at this neck angle that he has now. You can see his chin, and now this is 90 degrees versus this is being an obtuse angle. And so you can see the dramatic difference. Uh, so no drain was used. Uh, I just used uh, some internal sutures and some external netting sutures, which were removed about three days post-surgery. And now you can see the dramatic result and improvement with just a single tiny little incision underneath this hand.